the offensive line was trash. What's up? It's your boy Billy Mack. Another offseason preview. We're talking about that offensive line. Listen, I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Pro Football Focus has this offensive line ranked as the best offensive line in football. Pro Football Focus also said Trayvon Diggs is one of the worst cornerbacks in the league. And Anthony Brown is one of the best. That's what Pro Football Focus says. Ladies and gentlemen, our offensive line is trash. And then, listening to Jerry Jones's interview, or was it Stephen Jones? One of the Joneses let the BS come out of their mouth talking about, oh, the offensive line is, is just fine. We just need to. No, it's not. You clearly, and, and maybe it might be PC, I, and that's the one thing I can't stand about the Joneses. They are PC to a T. They're never going to show you their hand. They're never going to say what's really on their mind. They're going to spin that thing. They, I mean, they're going to spin that thing like a top. They are not going to give you anything. So we as fans have watched this team. Tyler Biotish and Connor Williams and Connor McGovern, they do not fit. They they can't they can't be on the offensive line. They cannot be on the offensive line. They cannot be on the offensive line. <laughs> now Connor Williams' contract is up, so he's gone. He's gone. And he's going to make a lot of money because the because the NFL needs offensive linemen. If you take a look at the backups, Ty Nitsky, I hope we can keep him. Um, Terrence Steele is going to be our swing tackle. He's going to be our swing tackle, whether you like it or not. We still got Mitch Hyatt, who started for four seasons at left tackle at Clemson, being Trevor Lawrence's blind side, and he can't get off the practice squad. We also got Josh Ball who, listening to Brian Broaddus, a lot of upside, but he's not he's not getting there for whatever reason. He can't, he can't quite get there. So there are a lot of changes that are going to come to the – I mean, Lyle Collins is going to be there. Tyron Smith is going to be there. Um, and, of course, Zach Martin's going to be there. But they're getting old, man. They're getting old, especially Ty Smith. Part of me believes, let's just go ahead and move, switch Ty Smith and Lyle Collins. Let's just go ahead and switch them. Because Lyle is, is younger. Ty is getting older. He can't, he can't block like he used to. He and and but then again, we as Cowboy fans have been kind of spoiled. We've been kind of spoiled in the way. Our offensive line looked like trash, but maybe, just maybe, that's how all offensive linemen look. These defenses are getting stronger. They're getting faster. These offensive linemen can't can't do like they, you know, you can't have a dominant offensive line like back in the day. Uh, even with San Francisco being the running team that they are, it's it's kind of funny. Their offensive line is not known as being dominant. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. I mean, Connor Williams is definitely gone. We're going to find somebody. We got to find somebody in the draft to replace Tyre Biotish. And if I was in the draft room, I would tell my scouts, Get somebody with some strength. Just get get somebody with some strength. If you can get somebody with some strength, we'll work with it. So we shall see, man. Offensive line was hands down the most disappointing part of this team. I didn't think they were as good as Pro Football Focus said. I just thought they would be better. And mind you, something happened. Something happened in the middle of the season because we were running the ball with, oh, my bad, Zeke got injured. 
yet they kept saying he wasn't injured. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. It's stupid. But anyway, offensive line is going to change. Your core three are still there. Them, the middle two or that middle left, gone. And hopefully we can bring somebody in that can do the job well and do it better than well. You know what I mean? But until then, it's your boy, Billy Mack. Thank you for watching. I'll at you next time. Peace.